Hey there, take a look at this simple app where you can change the background color of the page with just a click. It's a quick and fun project that combines HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this tutorial, we will be walking through the process of setting up a clean layout, styling a responsive button and using JavaScript to generate and apply colors to the page background. Plus, we got smooth transitions to make the color changes feel super smooth. We start by writing the HTML structure of our project. Inside the body tag, we create a container div that holds all the visible content. This container helps to center and organize the layout. Inside the container, we have a heading that to display the title of our project. Just below that, we have a button, button with the ID change color btn. This button will be later connected to JavaScript and will trigger the background color change when clicked. We start by applying CSS to improve the look of our project. We start with the universal selector to remove the default margin and padding and to set the box sizing to border box for consistent sizing. For the body, we make it take full height of the screen using height 100 VH and center everything using flexbox. The transitions on background color will make the color change smooth. The container class simply centers the content inside it. We then style the button, giving it a padding and a readable font size, white background and black text. We also remove the border around the corners with border radius and add a soft shadow for a nice floating effect. We begin writing the JavaScript for our project. First, we select the button element using document.getElementById. We are targeting the button with the ID change color btn, the one we created in our HTML. We store this reference in a variable named btn. This 
Let's us easily attach an event listener to the button in the next step. We use btn.addEventListener click to tell the browser what to do when the button is clicked. Inside the callback function, we first call a function named getRandomColor. This will return a randomly generated color. We store that value in a variable called randomColor. Then we apply it to the background color of the body using document dot body dot style dot background color is equal to random color. This way, every time the user clicks the button, the background color of the page will change to a new random color. Next. We create a function called getRandomColor that generates a random color. It does this by randomly picking a number between 0 to 255 for each of the red, green and blue color values. Then it combines them into a string like RGB 123452200 which is a valid CSS color. This string is written and used to update the page's background color. Whenever the the button is clicked. It is the key to make every background change feel fresh and unexpected. So every time the button is clicked, this function is called and the page gets a brand new randomly generated background color. Look at that. One click and the entire mood of the page changes. It's amazing what a few lines of code can do. Try tweaking the styles or adding your own twist 